Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create a panoramic image such as this one. As you can see, it's a bit rounded, so it was composed out of multiple images and it has some missing parts. Those can be filled in using Photoshop. Okay, so let's see how to do that image out of, let's say, six images. So these images were taken separately, one by one, and they were stitched together using a program. Okay, you have to use a manual settings on a camera to capture these images, to make sure that each and every image was captured with the same uh, settings, same exposure. Okay, so let's start the program, Image Composite Editor from Microsoft. This program will stitch together the images. So I'm selecting all of these images and drag it over the program. Oh, screen. Okay. So these are the images and they were imported. I just dragged and dropped it onto the program. Let's go to stitch or use the next button. It's the same thing. Now image composite editor is aligning and stitching together those six images into one single panoramic image. Okay, and from here you can select different modes how you want to view that image. And let's select one. Let's say that one. Okay and we have an auto orientation button if we accidentally rotated it that one will turn it back okay let's click next and now we can crop the image for example this square is over the image and if i make a selection like this then only that area will be kept and everything outside will be cut down. We have an auto crop button here that selects only that area which is continuous. For example, this area is missing some parts and that would not look good. So I can use auto crop or there's another feature auto complete. Let's try that one also. That auto complete uh, completes the edges of the image and it might not uh, result in a perfect image but we can try it we can do that manually using Photoshop and it filled out the edges it's not perfect here it's not perfect here there is pretty acceptable and I don't like it here either so let's take that out let's pull it there somewhere we can fill out the sky because that's a one color area okay and next and we are on the export page and since I want to correct the image I want to fill in those areas. I will select not JPEG because that is a lossy compression, but let's say Windows bitmap because it has no quality loss and it's a huge file. It has no compression either. Okay, and export to disk. Let's export it to the desktop. There's an image, I will overwrite it. Yes, replace it. Now the program is exporting that panorama that we just created. We can close the program, don't save it. Okay, and this should be the image that we just created. Okay, that's it. How to create a panorama using Microsoft Ice or Image Composite Editor. Thanks for watching and bye bye.